The Pro Gamer Compound, a massive building full of consoles, PCs, video games, and swamp ass. They've gained a lot of popularity over the last few years, thanks to big creators like JonTron and Video Game Donkey absolutely clowning on them. But I want to give them a chance. Fundamentally, it's a sound business model. From the consumer side, you're getting the latest hardware and games for one set monthly price, instead of constantly needing to upgrade your own setup to keep up with the times. And from the business's standpoint, the subscription model is highly attractive, esports and really the gaming industry as a whole is growing like crazy and these communities need a place to call home seems like a home run now one of these costing 50 million dollars that's a bit much but on a smaller scale to have a local place to host game nights make new friends and take part in smaller tournaments for your favorite games i mean that sounds pretty awesome but i could talk about these things all day from the comfort of my studio studio let's go and actually check one out in person All right, so I'm here in Columbus, Ohio to check out the one and only Game Arena. Our buddy Spencer works there. He's going to give us an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the joint and answer some of my burning questions. Let's check it out. Hello. Who it is? How come? Woohoo! Okay. Welcome to Game Arena. It's not my video. Oh, yeah, we got the. We got the yeah. Oh my, I know I made that overlay. We have over 40 gaming PCs in here, high end. We actually have more in our storage unit, but 40 is like a good amount to actually have in location. We have the rows, we have the private cubbies that gives you kind of like a, a little bit of a private feel. Um, even more private is to your right, which is the tournament rooms. Two tournament rooms whenever we're running like our competitive tournaments, like uh, uh, last weekend we had our Call of Duty tournament, which is the largest amateur one in the United States. We had 60 oh, yeah. teams compete for $8,000. The finals were in there. Over here, console area. Um, we have our old school slash new school call game. It's free to play, so people can come in here and get stuff in the bar. More console play, uh, PS5s, one of our favorites. Ooh. Can you play Mario Kart with that wheel? <laughs> Not yet. Full service bar, great kitchen. We're up here, we can do like a multitude of different things. We can use it as a private gaming lounge. We can use it as like, if we have a larger tournament, we can bring in those PCs that I was talking about, line this whole wall up. Um, same with consoles, so if we're running like a large Smash Bros tournament, we can do that. We've done stuff with Ohio State football, uh, we've done stuff with Ohio State basketball, the Columbus Crew, where we'll actually move this section off. And so if we have like a special guest or whatever, we'll have this area for them. In here, it's probably a mess as well. So I do all my dogs now, I can't. <laughs> I'm giving you uh, permission. So whenever we're streaming anything large, in-house or out-of-house, so a server room. I know the few times we've met, I've told you about, I'll actually show you our server room, it's separate. Um, I told you a few times about us doing uh, events remotely. We'll actually do this as our like production head right here, observers over there. So yeah, hard to see in here. It is a mess, but yeah, it's our server room. Like the one downside of this place is we just do not have storage, so we have to like make do. Our tech people are wizards, and I am not a wizard. Here, you can get a uh, liminal space. Liminal space, let's go. The back rooms. Liminal space. <laughs> just a movie we found at Game Arena back in like, I don't know, it was like 2016, I think, 2017 maybe, but he uh, went to school here at Ohio State University. Um, he originally actually scoped out this area, but settled on Hilliard. Um, and then we had Hilliard as our original Game Arena location. Um, unfortunately, I shut down this past year. Um, oh, so there was two? There was two locations for a while. Um, reason being is we just like this location better. It's more profitable. We eventually decided to shut that one down and focus, put like 100% of our focus into this location here. And um, yeah. It's been, uh, it's so been going this past well. year, you said? Yeah, this past year. Hilliard was open all the way through June this past year. The last event that we did was actually a Sea of Thieves event. So, huge Sea of Thieves community. Uh, Dread Pirate Doug is the gentleman's name who threw the event. Great event. Um, so most of the events ran by like separate people that just use your equipment and stuff. Third party event organizers have my heart because that's less work for me. Um, but we do a lot of events here. Um, the general manager here is Austin Palson. Um, Austin Palson also runs a lot of events um, here. He runs the Call of Duty tournament that I was telling you about earlier. We were going to ask about a, a VR setup. We didn't see it here, so we assume not. But he thought yeah, he might we, So we had VR that, at our Hilliard location. Um, we don't have it anymore. We still have the equipment. It's in storage right now. Set it up there and people at their own risk fall. Oh my god! Do these have like stream setups built into them? Do people stream from these or do they go in there to 
Um, so people can stream from them. Um, we've actually had, we've actually hosted tournaments where um, we have our stream, which is the main stream, but we've told teams before, like, you can stream, you can stream from your PC, yeah. So you have multiple different perspectives. Oh, so, yeah. so Mario Kart Saturday? Maybe? Mario Kart Saturday, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can have the joint stream with Mankalore, so, yeah. That would be sick. So actually the membership is something that we, like, just recently started over the last year. Okay. Um, I would say we have like maybe 50 or 60 members right now. Um, so it's not focused on the memberships, it's just Not necessarily, yeah. We do hourly gaming for PC and console as well as the racing sims. So like for example, the racing sims, you can get on there for half an hour for only $5. Whereas the PCs, uh, the more time you buy, the cheaper it is. Oh. So what I usually tell people is if they want to be a member at Game Arena, like if you come here twice in a month, it pays for itself. So if you come here two yeah, times so or more. 40 bucks or something for the month. Yeah, so. exactly. So it makes sense to just become Remember, but we, it's something that we really haven't pushed that much. Okay, I think that's about everything. Spencer, thanks for showing us around. Thanks for the info, but I think the verdict has been reached. So, is the Pro Gamer Compound worth it? No, because after touring this place, I realized that's not what Game Arena is. It's a walking distance from Ohio State, on a lively street, there's a booming bar and f***ing awesome food. This place is way closer to a bar and arcade than it is to a compound. Those seem to turn what should be a fun thing into a corporate and hellish nightmare. Help me! It's like hard to breathe in here. It's like, it's like jail in here. That's music to my ears. Where gaming's treated like a job and you just sit at a computer for like eight hours straight training. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. That's just not what gaming's about, or at least what it should be about. And even I, as someone who's more involved in the industry side of things and takes games a little too seriously, I can admit that video games are first and foremost about fun. 99% of people who play games do it as a hobby. So making a place that caters more to those people makes a hell of a lot more sense than a place exclusively for the sweaty one percenters. This place has the perfect balance of everything. It's got a lively esports scene, big weekly and monthly tournaments, and also plenty of room for casual with this nightlife bar vibe that just makes it a great place to hang. A place where people who like video games can meet other people like them. Turning the hobby from one of isolation in your cave to one of socializing and making new friends. Does that mean they shouldn't push memberships at Game Arena? Well, no, because like Spencer said, if you go more than twice a month, it pays for itself. But that being a facet of the company and not the focal point is definitely the way to do it. It takes the best aspects of the gamer compound and a more traditional bar setting and combines them. And in my opinion, that layout should replace the more conventional gamer compound idea. I mean, those are already built, you know, but going forward, I'd like to see more places like this. What do you think though? I know you've got some burning opinions on this, so let it out. Is the whole idea stupid? Do you love them and hate John? Tron for taking a steaming pile of shit on him, or do you stand somewhere in the middle? Leave your take in the comments. And after that, check out this video, where I turn one cent into a full-on game collection in less time than a 9 to 5. I'll see you over there.